um, in, this frat, in this one, you guys can see that we have a 1 -third and we have a 1 -third, but this doesn't have a 1 -third. But if you kind of follow the process, and when you guys look at the box method, basically what you're doing when you find your greatest common factor, when you're trying to decide that one factor that's the same, Sarah, what you're basically doing is you're dividing out that greatest common factor. In reality, that's really what you're doing. When we're finding the box, we're basically saying, if I say, all right, this has to be 1 third, I'm saying 1 third times what gives me 1 third x squared? Oh, x squared. 1 third times what gives me 1 third x? Just x, right? Then 1 third times what gives me negative 4? So in reality, to find the number that multiplies by 1 third to give me a negative 4, in reality, you're just going to divide negative 4 times 1 third. So how do, we how do we divide a whole number by a fraction? We can multiply by the reciprocal. There you go. So therefore, we have 1 third times x squared plus x minus 12. And then this is now much easier to factor out which is going to be x plus 4 times x minus 3. Because 4 times negative 3 gives you negative 12. 4 plus 4x plus negative 3x gives you x. Anybody have any questions? All right. So against my 